हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ बुलियन एल्जेब्रा ओके बुलियन एक्सप्रेशंस यूजिंग द रूल्स ऑफ बुलियन एल्जेब्रा सो हियर वील डिस्कस अनादर क्वेश्चन वी हैव दिस बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन गिवन एंड वी हैव टू रिड्यूस इट इन टू सिंपल एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट एस आइडेंटिफाई वेयर वी कैन अप्लाई दी Uh, the rules okay we have to identify common terms okay that's our first objective while solving any uh, simplifying any boolean expression first we have to identify the patterns the common terms okay so here look at this term a bar b c and this a b c here both the terms have b c in common okay here also it is bc there and here also there is bc there okay so let us take that as common okay so it will be bc into a bar plus a now let us uh, identify other things here in these two terms b bar c bar b bar c bar is common so we can write b bar c bar into a plus a bar okay now these two and these two are gone remaining is this a b bar c okay now as per the or rule we know that any boolean variable or with uh, its complemented variable means its uh, complemented version will give us 1 so we will apply that here so a plus a bar a plus a bar will give us 1 so it will be z is equal to bc into 1 or we will simply leave it as bc plus b bar c bar plus a b bar c okay again here in these two terms b bar is common b bar is common so let us take b bar as common it will be b c plus b bar to c bar plus a c here we can apply the another rule okay the absorption rule we can apply which says that x plus x bar y is equal to x plus y or we can write it as x bar plus x y is equal to x bar plus y okay so this rule can be applied here okay x bar plus x y equal to x bar plus y so here c bar plus c a ac or c a same thing c bar plus c a will simply be c bar plus a okay so this will become c bar plus a using this rule okay i have already posted uh, the video related to the boolean algebra rules so please check out that video okay so we'll apply this rule here so it will become c bar plus a so here it will be z is equal to b c plus b bar into c bar plus a so it will become the final expression i don't think we can simplify any further because there are no more common terms okay let's see bc plus b bar c bar plus b bar or a b bar okay should write it in uh, alphabetical order okay now let us see if there is any common term coming which we can uh, apply in boolean algebra no no this is the final 
expression now do not make this mistake here that uh, bc plus b bar c bar is equal to 1 don't make this mistake because here the individual variables are complemented the whole expression is not complemented if it would have been like this bc plus bc whole bar then it would have been 1 okay but here in this case the individual variables are complemented so this is wrong sometimes in a hurry students make this mistake okay it's natural uh, for beginners so you avoid this you just be a little bit careful about that okay so this is the final boolean expression okay z is equal to bc plus b bar c bar or a b bar okay you can write it in whichever way you want okay so while solving or simplifying any boolean expression the first thing that you have to take care is to identify common terms in the boolean uh, expression then arrange them in a particular manner where you can apply the boolean algebra rules okay the simplification rules so for that you have to be crystal clear about the rules you have to remember them then keep on simplifying keep on identifying the patterns keep on identifying the common terms until you get at a simplified reduced expression okay so here this is the simplified expression so here we are uh, with uh, another boolean expression which we have to uh, simplify by applying the boolean simplification rules so the expression is this okay so now let us uh, just uh, open up this bracket i think we can we can eliminate a lot of terms okay because here b bar is present and here b is present so when it will get multiplied we'll get the zero term okay so let us open up this bracket first so z is equal to a b plus a c whole bar opening up the bracket will get a b bar c a b plus a b bar c c okay so here the boolean rules will come into play this any boolean term ended with its complemented version will give us zero and any boolean term ended with the same boolean term will give us the same okay so two same boolean equal boolean terms added together will result in the same boolean term so this rule will be applicable here c into c will become c and this rule is applicable here b bar into b is zero again i repeat here when i say multiplication or into it means and operation and when i say plus it means or operation okay so let us uh, apply these two rules here so here it will be z is equal to a b plus a c whole bar here this whole term will become zero plus a b bar c okay a b bar c now so see here in this term and this term okay a is common a is present here a is also present here okay so let us take a common here so it will become a into b plus b bar c plus a bar ac whole bar okay ac whole bar this is ac whole bar now again here another boolean algebra rule will come into play the absorption rule which says x plus x bar y is equal to x plus y okay so we will apply this here when we will apply this rule it will become b plus c b plus b bar c will become b plus c c okay 
so let us uh, apply it here so it will become z is equal to a into b plus c plus a c whole bar okay let us open up the bracket it will become a b plus a c plus a c whole bar okay this two terms ac plus ac whole bar we can just uh, apply this rule here x plus x bar is equal to 1 any boolean variable or with its complemented version will give us 1 okay so here ac plus ac whole bar the whole of ac is complemented okay ac whole bar is there so here it will ac plus ac bar will become 1 so again it will be a b a c plus a c bar okay so it will become z is equal to a b plus 1 okay a b plus 1 again another uh, thing here which is the rule which is 1 odd with any boolean variable will give us 1 so here a b plus 1 it will be 1 z so is equal to 1 ok so this is the final simplified expression so here it will be z is equal to 1 this is the final simplified expression ok